Arnold Schwarzenegger wasn't the only unknown European to make it big in golden era bodybuilding in the late 1960s and early 70s. Born on August 7, 1941 in Sardinia, a small island off the coast of Italy, Franco Colombo was a strength prodigy at an early age. As we get into today's video, you'll learn how Arnold reacted to his best friend's passing and the alleged reason behind it. A Strong Colombo At the height of 5 foot 5 inch and weighing 185 pounds, Colombo was pound for pound one of the strongest men in the world. For example, he could perform a 780-pound deadlift. His strength feats earned him the nickname Sardinian Strongman. Mr. Colombo met Mr. Schwarzenegger, the future film star, politician, and perhaps the most famous bodybuilder in the sport's history, at a bodybuilding competition in Munich in 1965. They trained and worked together after Joe Weider, a bodybuilding impresario, brought them to California in the late 1960s. They later competed against each other and appeared together in films, notably the classic bodybuilding documentary Pumping Iron 1977 which also featured famous muscled men like Lou Ferrigno and Mike Katz. All of them helped bodybuilding gain broader mainstream acceptance. Mr. Colombo won his Mr. Olympia titles in 1976 and 1981. He took some years off from the competition in between after he dislocated his left knee while racing with a refrigerator on his back during the 1977 World's Strongest Man competition. Such feats of strength were hardly unusual for Mr. Colombo, whose website notes that his personal records included bench pressing 525 pounds, squatting 655 pounds, and deadlifting 750. In one scene in Pumping Iron, he casually lifts a car by the back bumper and heaves it out of a tight parking spot. Francesco Maria Colombo was born on August 7, 1941, in the small mountain village of Ololai in Sardinia to Antonio Colombo and Maria Grazia Seta, who were shepherds. He often got into tussles as a boy, which he said were more fun in games than combat. Men of Many Talents Some of Columbo's iconic Hollywood roles consist of films like Rambo First Blood Part II, 1985, and several that starred Mr. Schwarzenegger like Conan the Barbarian, The Terminator, and The Running Man. His more recent parts include a turn in the Italian movie Dreamland, La Terra dei Sogni. Mr. Columbo lived in Los Angeles. His survivors include his wife, Deborah Colombo, whom he married in 1990, a daughter, Maria Colombo, and three sisters, Anna, Gonaria, and Celestina Colombo. Mr. Colombo was also a chiropractor and, in addition to his memoir, wrote several books on bodybuilding and nutrition. He noted that moderate exercise had its benefits, even if they might not include hoisting cars. This kind of program will not get you in shape for the Super Bowl, he said in 1982 of a training regimen mellower than the ones he practiced, but it will help to ensure that you are around for a great many football games to come. Franco Colombo and Arnold Friendship In the mid-1960s, Franco traveled throughout Europe, performing in weightlifting and bodybuilding competitions. Over the years, he earned powerlifting champion titles in Europe, Italy, and Germany. Colombo was also an amateur boxing champion in Italy and used boxing workouts as a cardio strategy during his competitive bodybuilding days. He didn't back down from any challenge, once saying, winners do what they fear. Back in the golden era, strength components were common in bodybuilding competitions. At one of those competitions, Colombo met Arnold Schwarzenegger in Germany in 1965, and the moment would spark a lifelong friendship. During the height of the golden era, Photos of Franco and his tall friend Arnold in Muscle Beach or Gold's Gym would become some of the most famous and iconic captured moments in the history of the sport. Many have commented over the years that Arnold and Franco made for an odd pair. Though both were world-class athletes, their height difference made them a sometimes comical sight as they strutted down the Venice boardwalk. Despite their close friendship, their personalities were vastly different. Arnold was boisterous and outgoing, Franco was quiet and happy-go-lucky. Though a fierce competitor, Colombo didn't engage in the manipulative gamesmanship that was Arnold's trademark. But the two had a strong fraternal bond and shared a generous spirit. They were still close to the day of Franco's passing. Franco was Arnold's best man for his marriage to Maria Shriver in 1986, and Schwarzenegger has helped Colombo in his efforts to star in films over the years. But their real legacy is in muscle. The pair helped create the golden era of bodybuilding. A Tribute for Colombo the Italian bodybuilder whom Arnold Schwarzenegger called his best friend in a moving tribute on social media has passed away age 78. A two-time Mr. Olympia, Colombo appeared alongside Schwarzenegger in The Terminator, The Running Man, and Conan the Barbarian. 
he passed away in hospital in his native Sardinia after not feeling well while swimming in the ocean, as reported by sources. As Columbo was best known for his decades-long friendship with Schwarzenegger, in a heartfelt tribute posted to Instagram, the actor and former governor of California said his life was more fun, more colorful, and more complete thanks to Columbo. From the minute we met in Munich, you were my partner in crime, Schwarzenegger wrote about Columbo. We pushed each other, we competed with each other, and we laughed at every moment along the way. They later worked together as bricklayers after moving to the U.S. to pursue a career in Hollywood at the behest of the Canadian bodybuilder Joe Weider. When I finally got to America, I was alone, Schwarzenegger wrote. I'd left my family, my country, my whole life behind. So when I asked Joe Weider to bring you to train with me, it was because I knew I wasn't the same without my best friend. I could thrive without money, without my parents, but I couldn't thrive without you." Columbo was Schwarzenegger's best man at his marriage to Maria Shriver in 1986 and was the godfather of their daughter Christina. Shriver also paid tribute to Columbo, calling him family. Franco was also a great friend to me and all our children, she wrote on social media. He was always loving, always supportive, and encouraging to the very end. A friend for more than 40 years. I'm so glad I recently had the chance to dance with him and to tell him how much I loved him. He said he was devastated by Columbo's passing, but also so, so grateful for the 54 years of friendship and joy we shared. The pumps, the chess games, the construction work, the meals, the pranks, the life lessons. We did it all together, he wrote. We grew and we learned and we loved. My life was more fun, more colorful, and more complete because of you. Columbo is survived by his wife Debbie and daughter Maria. I will always miss you, but I'll also know that a part of you lives on in me, in Debbie, in Maria, and in the millions of people you inspired every day you lived," Schwarzenegger wrote. I love you, Franco. I will always remember the joy you brought to my life, the advices you gave me, and the twinkle in your eye that never disappeared. You were my best friend. The greatest and strongest bodybuilder I have ever met has passed. He taught me many things that I have applied throughout my life. We will never have a man like this again," the actor further tweeted. Reason Behind Franco's Passing most media sources reported that Franco Columbo drowned, but Arnold confirmed the cause of Franco Columbo's passing when he told an interviewer how he learned the tragic news regarding his best friend. I got the message from his wife that he passed away on a beach in Sardinia. He donated bells for the local church, so they had a big celebration with the mayor, and then two days later he was walking on the beach, and all of a sudden he fell over. He had a heart attack. Never Forgotten Columbo always had time for fans and understood his place in the legacy of the sport. He's a member of the IFBB Bodybuilding Hall of Fame and was awarded the Arnold Classic Lifetime Achievement Award in 2009. As Arnold handed his old friend the Crystal Plate Award, the two had a playful tug-of-war. Then Franco, still speaking with a thick accent, talked with genuine warmth about his long friendship with his fellow European immigrant. Columbo's true legacy was his amazing power. I'm the strongest bodybuilder who ever lived, I think," he once said. Few would argue the point. He could clean and jerk more than twice his weight and held a number of world records for years. He was a beast in the gym and people would stop training in golds to watch the Sardinian strongman perform his amazing lifts. His quiet dignity, athletic prowess, and friendship with Schwarzenegger made him one of the most famous and popular of the Golden Era greats. Every year, he was a regular at the Arnold Sports Festival, flying with his friend Arnold on the former governor's private jet. The bodybuilding community will never stop appreciating Franco's colossal impact on the sport. He will always be remembered and looked up to as a legendary role model. His career can be summed with his famous quote, kill them with success and bury them with a smile. Rest in peace to Franco Columbo and condolences to his family and loved ones. That's all for this video, folks. We'll see you another time.